Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we cleared the Riddle Tower and made our way all the way to the base of the Palace of Shadows. This episode, we're going to do a few final preparations badge-wise. We're going to remove some badges we don't need. We don't need multi bumps anymore, because we're not really going to be facing strings of multiple enemies. We don't need ice power. Uh, we don't, I believe, need spike shield, because we're not going to get into these spiky enemies, because Bowser, contrary to what I always think, isn't actually spiky. No, I don't think we're fighting any spiky enemies. We can take off Shrink Stomp, because none of the enemies we're going against can really be shrunk in that way. And is there anything else? Nope, so I'm actually then going to equip. Have I still got a Power Plus P hanging around? No, but I've got a Defend Plus P. That could be handy. I'm actually going to put a HP Plus P, which increases all my partner's health on. That could be really handy for this final battle. Um, with my preparations complete... Let's head through the final door. Actually, no, you won't. <laughs> let's let's just save to be sure. Then let's head through the final door. Jeepers! This room gives me a super bad feeling, Mario. What is this chamber? Ha <laughs> We finally meet, Mario. I've been looking forward to this, I must admit. So, this chump is the leader of those x noughts Yes, correct. I am the supreme leader of the secret society of x noughts I am Grodus. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I really must express my thanks to you first. And do you know why? You have gathered together all of the crystal stars I was seeking. No! So the last crystal star we found on the moon! What did we do? <laughs> you just realize now, don't you? Yes, instead of taking the few crystal stars you fools have bumbled into, it was far easier to let you find them all and open the Thousand Year Door for me. How kind of you to bring them all here to me. All I had to do was entrust the last crystal star to my least competent underling. I don't suppose Crump had any idea of my plan, though. <laughs> so whether he beat you or lost to you, the Crystal Stars would be together on mine either way. Pure genius. Now, I thought the Shadow Sirens would do a little more to slow your progress. But it appears they are so useless even this small task was beyond them. No matter, now I get the pleasure of sending you to oblivion. Be careful, Mario. This jerk looks totally nasty. Once you fools are gone, no one will stand in my way. Grotus will rule the world. No way we let that happen. Now, come. I always forget, up until this point, Mario's not even met Grotus. He's never seen him before. Meet your ends, you meddlesome fools. You will know my power. We only know Grotus from the Peach cutscenes. Which is really cool. Anyway, he's doing some bullshit. Basically, so, fucking Grotus. He fights like a yux on crack, because he's got Yo Grodus's and Grodus X's. We'll start by tattling Grodus. That's Grodus. He's the head of the X-Noughts who kidnapped Peach. Max HP is 50, attack is 7, defense is 1. But when he has Grodus X's surrounding him, his defense will go up by that number. He may also use electricity, fire, and time-stopping magic. That doesn't sound good. Still, he's a totally weird guy. Why is he so intense and serious all the time? I guess we don't have time to worry about that. Let's beat him and find Peach. What she failed to mention is that if he... So each Grodus X re increases his defense by one. If he's got four Grodus Xs, he is completely invincible. So we'll set about removing the Grodus Xs. Easiest way I find of doing that is Earth Tremor. As long as you don't cock it up. Well, I cocked it up, but I should still bounce high enough to get the top few Grodus Xs. I think they've only got like three health or something like that. I will tackle them next turn. Does no damage to Grodus himself, but does take out all the X's. Now, he does some bullshit. All his attacks look the same until he does them, so it's hard Ow, to predict sometimes. Right, every turn he spits out two X's, and as I say, only four will put up the impenetrable barrier, which is nice. Let's tackle the X, just, I guess, for completion's sake. Boink! You know, maybe I should have left multi-bounce on. Anyway, that's a Grodus X. It protects Grodus. Protects Grodus? Haha, <laughs> look what I did. HP is three, attack is four, defense is zero. They can attack. This guy has no problem on its own, but Grodus' defense goes up for each one of them. When he has four surrounding him, we won't be able to damage him at all. So let's dish out some hurts on them while we pound Grodus. Now, 
But his books is in a good position. Because, as I say, he doesn't at the moment. You can still damage him. He's got higher defense, but that doesn't matter so much. Art attack. Really helpful here. Because Art Attack does damage kind of in layers, so we can focus first on hitting everyone, including the Xers, draw a little heart around them, that takes the Xers out, and now we can just focus on Grodus himself. I mean, I'm cocking up because you've got to get his entire silhouette in there. Um, and we're only doing three at a time, but it's doing a nice bit of damage in total to him. I'm really screwing this up badly, but we did a good 12 damage there to Grodus, I think. Now, what's he doing? Oh, time-stopping magic! Clock out! Oh, it clocked Mario out, so he's immobilized for a turn or so. Oh, this isn't going to be great because I need to switch out the partner as well to Vivian. Vivian, extremely handy here for the reasons that Vivian is always extremely handy. Is he going to do lightning again? Oh no, he's made himself dodgy. Oh good. Mario skips his tanks, he's mobilized. Oh my god, the Xs do absolutely attack. Well, you know, now we know. Cool. Let's focus. He's going to bring all four Xs out, which is annoying. So I'll throw up Mario first and I will... It's a waste of flower points actually, but I'm going to jinx them. It's not going to do anything to Grodus himself, which is a bit annoying, but I mean, hey, he's dodgy anyway, so... There we go. Because I was going to Earth Tremor, but I actually want to hold on to Mario's um, flower points anyway. Oh, no! Ooh. This would not be a good boss battle in which to show off that particular ability. Right, I'm going to go for a spin jump. I might miss because he's dodgy, but... Oh, got him. So that does a good 10 to him to go. So, you have the metal to push me this far. But no more. Oh, he's going to do something dodgy. It's going to be more lightning. Uh, action Command is hard in that landing. It kind of goes, did did A, and you've kind of got to do it at that stage and things. This is, this is, as you can see, why I... Oh, oh the crowd is entirely x naughts. You can see why I put Vivian in front. Is because it's handy to jinx away the Xs with Vivian, and then hit Mar the hit Grodus himself with Mario with something like Spring Jump. He's dodging he's, um, a lot of the jinxes, which is unfortunate. Um, but it's still getting rid of the Xs, and that's really the primary thing. And Mario's hit twice in a row, so that's quite nice. Ah, you will not stop me. Take this. What's it gonna be? Ah, oh, blue fire. Don't know when the action band is on exactly on that, and it's burned Vivian. I guess it's just when you hit. Um, and he's he's no longer dodgy, but he has spat out two Xs. You know what? I even I was gonna power lift, but I didn't even need to. That's a good position to be in, I guess. Grodus, as long as you keep on top of the Xs, he's a relatively straightforward boss, actually. Ooh, 11. He's burned, so he'll die fairly soon anyway, but... Oh, I'm gonna do what I should never do and go for a spring jump. Why do I do it? I'm gonna cock it up and do less damage. Never go for a spring jump, Doctor. What's wrong with you? BAM! Did it for 14 damage! Oh my goodness, that was good. So long, Grodus. Ugh, no. Now. This is why I said... Doesn't matter anyway, because we're getting this this bullshit. Um, but this is why I said, keep an eye on your star points. Because we now get a level up. This is extremely handy. Just take my word for that, I'll explain why shortly. But leveling up after the Grodus fight is crucial. Time your star points so you do just that. I so say you'll get at least 30 from him, we got 60, because we were very fortunate. Let's go for HP, just to keep Mario nice and topped up. Ugh, you are more than you seem. But this is not finished. I saw even this possibility. Huh? Watch this. Where am I? Mario! Princess Peach! Move one step and she will breathe no more. You wouldn't! Now try this! Mario! <laughs> now again! No! Mario! What should we do, Mario? We won't make it if we don't attack him. Oh, difficult mover. Attack him and risk Peach, or don't attack and risk ourselves. I think we just gotta risk and attack him. Stop your blubbering, this is it. Meet your end. What? Ah! Bowser? Urgh, that was a surprise. I didn't think I'd fall. Have I put on weight? Your chunkiness, are you okay? Yeah. 
Barf! Why is Mario here? And Peach as well. So I don't know what's going on here, but I'm gonna put an end to it right now. Mario, first I pound you, then I take the princess, and then the treasure! What? This is unbelievable! All this and Bowser too? Ha 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 ha! Ah, all worn down from battle, eh, Mario? Yes, easy pickings. Today is the day I flush a plumber down the drain. Now you see why you needed that level up. Ha 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 ha! What's a finale without a Bowser appearance, huh? A cruddy finale, that's what. Now hold still while I trounce you and take my peach. Mario, you sniveling bug, this is it for you. <laughs> oh, so many throat hurty voices. I need a drink. But yes, you go straight into a battle with Bowser with some really cool music. You don't get a chance to heal. Timing it so you level up when you beat Grodus heals you after beating Grodus, and that is invaluable. It also means that if I wanted to tattle... So, we've already got Bowser's tattle because we fought him before. We haven't got Kami's. If I wanted to tattle Kami, I'd have to swap out Vivian. Use Tattle as Goombella and swap out again. Three turns without a partner, I am not taking that risk. We'll just have to go Tattleless on this one, and also it gives me a chance in the future to show off what happens if you fail to tattle a one-time enemy, like a boss. Kemi's stats are 50 HP, 5 attack, and 0 defense. But she's really, really fucking annoying. So she should really be your primary focus here. So I'm going to open with a nice power lift and hopefully level up. Um, I'm going to try and focus actually potential on offense. Um, because I just want to take out Kami as fast as possible. 3-2! Yes! That was exactly what I was hoping to get. Wonderful! Now, as ever, leather into them with fiery jinx. Y, B, X, B, Y. Aha! If you deal damage to Kami, she'll fall off her broom, which makes her margin less irritating. Bowser's breath is the same as dodging any breath thing, I just failed to do so. Ha 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 ha! I sure do feel good today! I am feeling it! Lord Bowser, Lord Bowser, rah, 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 get him! Kami is very much a support character and tends to do annoying shit to Bowser. Oh, she does have a direct projectile attack there, which she did use, but she doesn't often use it. So now, using both Mario and um, Vivian, we want to level level her. I was going to say level her, but I said level her, which also works. Not going to use Spring Jump because I'm not stupid. Ooh, 19 damage. Shit, that's powerful. Let's jinx the shit out of them as well. Y, X, A. Yeah, I used to struggle with this as a kid a lot because I wasn't good at taking out Grodus. I just didn't focus on using moves like Fiery Jinx that do multiple damage to damage to multiple enemies. Oh, she's made herself fucking invisible. Um, but she's still taking damage from that at least. Uh, I guess in this meantime, might as well. Oh, I'll try to spring jump on Bowser, why not? She can heal Bowser and herself, which is really annoying. Um, but there's nothing- Ah, Cox! There's nothing great to do at the moment! No, oh, I- mm, That's gonna hurt. I really screwed that up. I mean, Kami's invisible anyway, so- Oh, she's healing herself. But yeah, so I used to struggle kind of with Grodus, which would mean I'd come into this battle- Where the fuck's she gone? Oh, she's gone to get her broom back, isn't she? Two turns of freeze? Really? And that doesn't heal me? That just doesn't feel right. And I can't do any action commands. Oh, and she's healing herself even more. Well, at least she's still burning and- Oh, this- that was- that was real, real bad. Well, at least I'll do this again. But yeah, um, so I'd always enter the Bowser fight with very little health, so I always used to find this one of the hardest um, boss fights in the game because you're going in I was going into it so gimped. But as long as you're careful and smart with Grodus, puts you in a much better stead for taking on Bowser. Three and three! That's a fucking record. I didn't know that was actually possible, but the cards fell very well for me there. Uh, if we jinx again here... You can kind of estimate how much health Kami must have by how much Bowser's got. She's healed herself by 16, but Bowser's lost 30, so... She'll be on her way out soon, Kami, actually. Oof! So, Mario, you still have some fight in you. Not bad. And... A. Oh, God damn it. Oh, Vivian's really actually dying quite hard, if I'm not careful here. Oh, you stoppy bastard. Oh, ha! Right. I'm going to see how much damage I can do to... Kami. If I can kill Kami in one... Then I can spend Vivian's turn healing Vivian, which would be nice. And that should kill Cam. Damn it! Oh, risks. Lots of risks. I've got these life shrooms. I don't want to fall back on the life shrooms at the moment. Uh, let's get an ultra shroom into Vivian for now. As I could let her die and have the life shroom fire up automatically, but I really do want to hang on to that for more stuff. Um, ow! Oh, God, he's a filthy mouth. I'm poisoned. Good God. Don't do anything shitty. Oh, she did a shitty thing. Right, um... Oh, someone's trying to throw a can at me. 
I'm actually going to think put Vivian up front because she's now got more health, so she can take the biting attacks from Bowser and she can jinx both of them, and then Mario can respond. Basically, if this jinx kills Kami, Mario can just leather onto Bowser. But if it doesn't, then Mario can leather onto Kami. It's quite nice. Nice situation to be in. God, Kami must have healed herself quite a lot. Let's finish her off, surely, with a spring spin jump. If that doesn't kill her, nothing will. There we go, she's dead. Forgive me, Lord Bowser. I have nothing left. Oh, something's going to reduce the damage I take. That's quite nice. Yeah, um... Oh, I needed a drink because all your voices are hurting my throat. Yeah, you kind of... Ooh. Mario is not looking great. Really not looking great. Do I want to heal? Ah, oh, I might just use Sweet Feast anyway. Um... Ooh, what to do, what to do. I've got the Shroom Crap, but I really don't really want to use that at this point. Uh, da -da -da, not a shroom. You know what? I'm gonna put Boo Sheep on Mario. It's a weird move, I know, but it will keep him safe for a little bit. Although he is, ah, oh. the thing is, I don't want to waste all my star points. Um, but I'll take up Bowser fairly soon. But the poison is doing me pretty bad damage. So next turn, I should have him though. Yeah, you kind of forget how annoying it is to fight an enemy that doesn't when you can't see their health, like Kami. Um. Mario should survive, and that's what matters here. Now, if we just shade fist onto Bowser and then jump on him, we should have him done. Um, which is a nice situation to be in. Yeah, it's annoying having to predict how much health they have left. It's nice to be able to see it, but it's not worth waiting like three turns to tackle there. All things considered, that was relatively smooth and straightforward. Arr! Arr! How could this happen? Whew. That was too close. At least we can close that chapter though, right? Now let's save Peach. What? Where's Grodus? Yeah! That was Princess Peach! So, we can chase after them, and this means you do have chances for healing and arrest and whatnot. You can actually leave at this point entirely and go out and do whatever the fuck else you want to do. There's handy stuff around here. There is an Ultra Shroom. There is a Healy Block. Can you tell what's coming up? Something scary looking, definitely. Note, there is no way to heal star power at this point, so it's kind of unfortunate if you don't have full star power. Um, so that's kind of why I didn't want to waste it at the end of that last battle. Come right down into this seriously spooky, crypty feeling area. Second chest, which contains, I believe, a Jam and Jelly. And heal up. But before going through the spooky doors, we're going to hold it there. My apologies. I think this may have been a shorter episode, but I absolutely don't want to start what's through there on its own episode. So, hey, we've still done two bosses. That's a long enough episode, surely, however long it is. Um, three bosses, technically, if you can count Bowser and Kami as separate ones. So, we beat Grodus. We beat Kami. But Grodus has taken Peach down here. Next episode, we will be pursuing him. Thank you very much, and good day.